I'm Courtney Michelanis from All Things New Again in Leesburg, Virginia. You know I love any art project where the prep work involves me drinking a lot of wine. Today I'm going to show you how to turn an ordinary wine bottle like this into a one-of-a-kind work of art like this. And we'll be using unicorn spit. That's right, I said unicorn spit. It's a real thing and it's awesome. <music> you just a little bit about unicorn spit then I'll show you how to prep a bottle and then I'm going to teach you three different techniques to get three different looks on a wine bottle with a unicorn spit you can do this on any bottle I just like to drink wine so unicorn spit is brand new it's a non-toxic rainbow gel stain and glaze in one you can use it on furniture just like a stain and instead of staining it brown you can stain it turquoise and still get the really pretty wood grain coming through but you can also use it on top of either Mod Podge or any type of paint that is like a chalk based or mineral paint I like to use Dixie Belle paint because it gives you really good coverage and you will need these for the glass because the unicorn spit won't stick to the glass by itself. You need to prep your bottle. I like to soak it in warm sudsy water to loosen up the label and then I just scrape the labels off with a razor blade and a little bit of glass cleaner and um, the, the labels come off really nicely. So here's a nice clean bottle. You can either prep it with the Mod Podge which will give you uh, it will dry clear. So that's what I did on this clear bottle. As you can see, I, I painted the Mod Podge on it because I wanted to, I thought it would look really pretty to have some clear coming through. This is a green bottle. I don't really want the green showing through my final product. So I'm going to paint it first with the Dixie Belle chalk and mineral paint. And I, I just like this paint. It's one of the products we carry in our shop, All Things New Again in Leesburg. And I just think it gives you really nice coverage on glass in just one shot. I mean, you don't have to put like three or four different coats on it. It goes on nice and thick. It dries quickly. And um, that's all you have to do is just paint the whole bottle. I'm gonna set this one aside. I already have a couple prepped here. And as you can see, this is just one coat of the Dixie Belle paint white over that dark, dark green. And it, it gives you pretty good coverage. So let me move these out of the way. The first technique I'm gonna show you um, I don't know that it really has a name. I'm going to use a, a squirter thingy and a hair dryer. So you can get these at, um, at the pharmacy. They sell smaller ones, you know, to give babies medicine. Um, this was actually a turkey baster. I got at the dollar store and I just took the needle off. It works really nice. So you just draw up the unicorn spit and you squirt it. You can start at the top and just kind of squirt it down in long, Squirts, I guess and just let it drip all the way down and I just like to kind of go all the way around the bottle then I'll come back with a different color I always like to keep either paper towels or baby wipes work nicely when you're working with unicorn spit I'm gonna come back with some black and just do the same thing I'm painting these for my sister so the colors I chose are the colors that match her kitchen it's really pretty. Her walls are like a nice turquoisey teal color and her backsplash is black and white. So these are gonna like look really cool in her kitchen. We had a little technical difficulty while we were getting that taken care of. I went ahead and finished dripping the black down. I came back with some white unicorn spit and a little bit more of the teal color and you can see it's all dripping and kind of running together and it looks pretty cool. Then what I like to do after I get my long drips going, I just like to come back and just kind of randomly squirt all over. And this is the part where your true artist comes out because you don't really know how it's going to look, but you know it's going to look awesome. So I just do a little bit of the blue, a little bit of the black, and just let it go you know, wherever it wants to go. There, maybe I'll do a little bit of white. Just to, you can see where I painted the bottle white is kind of gonna show through. So this, you can choose any color to have as your base. 
And once you get the bottle all covered, this is what makes this technique look really cool. You come back with a hair dryer, and I'll just kind of move this over here, and you hit it with the hair dryer. The heat will make parts of the spit get all like crackly and cool looking, and the wind will just blow the, the product around and just have the colors blend together. And I just wanted to tell you this first so you won't hear me when I turn it on, but here we go. just kind of spreads it all apart and just blends it together and it just makes it look all marbly and and just feathery and really cool and and that's all there is to it just squirting and blowing with the hair dryer and there you go so I'm gonna set this aside to dry that's bottle number one that's the same technique Oops, I used on this bottle every single one is going to look different and that's what makes it really cool now you might be thinking, well, gosh, that looks cool, but you just made a big mess and you wasted a lot of product. I mean, look at all this unicorn spit on the table. I'm telling you that's okay. So we're gonna use that for bottle number two. This is a technique, here's what it looks like when it's done. I just call it finger painting because I'm just gonna scoop up some of the product and just paint it on and just keep going all the way around. It's already kind of blended. So if you want it just straight blue, you just dip your finger, just dipping my finger in the jar and going down with it. But I like to use up all the stuff that um, falls on the tablecloth because I hate wasting. And um, I think it always just turns out really neat. So you just keep going over and over, layering the colors. Start at the top and work down. Then I like to just kind of flip it over and start at the bottom and work my way up and just go all the way around. If you find like your colors are starting to get too muddled together, then stop and let it dry and then you can come back and put a second layer on top of it. And what that does is when you seal it, all those different layers are gonna kind of pop when the sealer hits it and it, it's gonna just give it a, a really pretty look that's gonna look like you spent hours on this thing and all you did was finger paint. Like I said earlier, unicorn spit is non-toxic. So you can, you can stick your finger right in the jar and it's not harmful at all. Um, my son's four, he is really good at this technique. <laughs> and he just sticks his little fingers right in it, no problem. And I don't worry about it. So there you can kind of see how the technique goes. I think with the finger painting technique, the more layers you do, the, the better your end product is. So I'm going to let this dry. So that's the finger painting technique. This is just kind of the first round. So I'll let this dry. Then I might come back and say, you know, it's a little too gray and black there. And I'll just hit it with some more of the blue or the white. Or it's just, it's just up to you. Whatever, whatever you think looks pretty. You're the artist and um, you can't make a mistake. You just keep layering colors, let it dry, come back, layer some more until it looks perfect to you. This is the finished one. I had a lot of the purple and the white in this one that just was feeling purple that day. And, um, and that's what it looks like when it all layers together. And that is the finger painting technique. The final technique I wanna show you is called the stain press technique. This. Um, this looks really cool on a tabletop or a dresser drawer on your furniture, but you can do the same thing in a smaller version on a bottle. And it starts out just like um, the first technique where you get your little syringe and you just squirt unicorn spit all over the place. And I just find like random patterns on this one just give you a prettier result. So I'll, I'll go up and down some and back and forth and just kind of shake it and get little spots here and there. So there's the black. Now come back with some blue.
All of these techniques work, you know, with a couple of different colors. I would say at least two. I'm using three today. You know, sometimes I use all of them. You can just mix and match the colors and get all kinds of really cool looks. So there's the bottle. Doesn't you're not going to cover it completely, but you know, just have it balanced all the way around. And again, see all this that spilled? I'm going to use that for the second round on my finger painting one. But first, I'm going to take my secret ingredient. It's just a plastic bag from the grocery store. And you just kind of wad it up, and I'm going to just smoosh it on here and kind of move it around um, to blend all the colors together and create texture. So here goes. This one had a lot of black. I think I'm gonna come back and add some white and do it again once this dries. Um, but it looks pretty cool. As you can see like through here, it kind of gives it a feathery look. And um, actually I kind of like that right there with the blue coming through. So um, that's the technique. Um, here you can see I use different colors on this one, more of the purple and the blue and the white came through. I think I'm going to go back and add a little bit of white of that one when I'm done shooting this video just to bring out some more vibrant colors. But again, you can't make a mistake with unicorn spit. If you don't like how it looks, just let it dry, come back and add more colors and play around with it until it looks perfect to you. One final note, you do need to seal this and you need to use an oil-based sealer. Unicorn spit is a water-based product, but for some reason the oil-based sealers work better. Um, if you use a water-based sealer, it will um, it will smear around your design and you'll, use, you'll lose that pretty design. So I just spray mine. I use Minwax spray polyurethane. And then I like to always just come back and sprinkle a little glitter on it while the, uh, while the polyurethane is still dry. And then I spray it again to seal it in and just give it a little bit of sparkle. So, these are my bottles. Don't tell my sister this is going to be her Christmas present once they're all done. Um, that's how to do it. If you would like to see some more of our DIY tutorials, please check out our All Things New Again blog. It's allthingsnewagain.net. We do unicorn spit projects. We do all kinds of painted furniture projects, and we really like to give you step-by-step -step tutorials so you can be successful in your projects at home because I know there is an artist inside everybody and, um, and you can do this too, it's very easy. So check out our blog, allthingsnewagain.net. Thank you.